Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Dread Time Stories. I'm your host, Dr. Phobia, and tonight, our story comes from the world of Reddit No Sleep. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy tonight's tale, A Strange 911 Call. I used to work as a 911 operator in a relatively large metro area. One night about 3 a.m. or so, I answered a call from an elderly woman who said she didn't feel well. I tried to get more information about what was wrong. Chest pains, trouble breathing, headache, is she a diabetic, etc. She gave me her address and a phone number and said no one else was home, but the front door was unlocked so they could come in. I toned the call out as general illness and kept trying to get more details. No matter what else I asked about what was wrong, she would just say, I don't feel well, can you send someone to help me? After a few minutes, she said, I'm going to put the phone down for a minute, I need to go to the bathroom. I tried to get her to stay on the line with me, told her that she can do whatever she needs to do to get ready, but I'd like to be able to stay in contact with her in case there's a problem. She said, I'm going to put the phone down, I'll just be a minute. And that was it. I stayed on the line and asked for her every so often, but got no reply. A couple of minutes passed, and then the fire department called in on scene, so I just disconnected and didn't think much about it. Told them that the caller advised that the front door is unlocked and she was in the bathroom. A couple more minutes, one of the firefighters called in over the air with a weird tone and said, Dispatch, uh, exactly how was this call received? I told him the call was first party from the patient's home approximately eight minutes ago. He didn't respond over the air, but called the desk from his cell phone, which usually only happens when something weird is going on and they don't want to broadcast it since anyone can listen on all the radios. On the phone, he said, Are you sure this wasn't a third party call from a family member or something? I said negative, caller advised, I don't feel good, and said no one else was at home, so to the best of my knowledge, the caller is the patient, have you made contact? He said, yeah, she was in the bathroom just like you said, but she's probably been dead for about 12 hours, cold to the touch, fully livid, full rigor, we're gonna need to get a deputy out here. Afterwards, we pulled the tapes of the radio and the calls and checked the timestamps, address, and phone number, and went over everything a few times to see if I had missed something. I called them back in the morning after the shift to see if they had any more info, but they were just weirded out as I was. The phone was still in the living room, and the patient was dead in the bathroom. that was a strange 911 call. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for listening. Like I always say in closing, check under your bed, look in your closet, and sleep with the light on. The life you save may very well be your own. Good night everyone.